Hi everyone, welcome to another video of uh, Calculus 1. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain limits uh, and continuity. Uh, we're going to explain, we're going to look at how continuity is defined first, uh, the definition of continuity. We're going to look at that in terms of limits. And um, then we're going to look at uh, different types of uh, types of uh, types of discontinuities. There we're going to talk about uh, removable. discontinuity and jump discontinuity when we talk about jump discontinuity uh, we're gonna look at one-sided uh, continuity as well so in, in, in that topic it's a subtopic one-sided Continuity. There we're going to talk about right continuity, left continuity, and then we talk about uh, definition of uh, continuity on an interval. And then we talk about um, infinite discontinuity. This continuity is caused by the functions being uh, functions goes to infinity at some points. And then uh, we're going to talk about uh, oscillate uh, oscillations. Uh, particularly happening in uh, trigonometric functions. Um, and then we're going to learn five theorems. Important in continuity. And then finally, we learn about if the function is continuous, then it is easy to evaluate limits. So we can evaluate limit using continuity. Unlike in the previous uh, uh, videos, I'm going to use uh, a PowerPoint uh, slideshow uh, in this video because there are a lot of uh, pictures that I want to use and as well as there are a lot of uh, definitions that I can save some time if I use a PowerPoint so so this is uh, the PowerPoint and there you go okay so we're going to talk about limits and continuity first thing is what is a continuous function um, there are two pictures in this uh, slide on this slide, uh, the first one is a continuous piece of uh, uh, curve, and uh, you can see that at C, when uh, when x approaches C uh, from any side here, uh, sorry, from any side in this side or left or right, uh, the limit exists. The limit is finite. And also the limit uh, equals the value of the function, right? Limit equals the value of the function. Now, in the second case, you can see that uh, limit x is, exists when you go from left. So left uh, side, left side uh, limit exists. 
But when you see the right side limit uh, at x equals c function is not defined. So you don't see any right side limit existence. So basically the limit x goes to c g uh, x does not exist. Because the left limit and the right hand limit is not equal to each other. The left hand, left hand side, uh, left hand limit and right hand limit is not equal to each other. Therefore, the limit does not exist. So, definition. Now, in this example, you see that the function is con continuous. What happened is the limit exists and the limit is equal to the value of the function. Limit exists and the limit is equal to the value of the function. The limit is equal to the value of the function, uh, which gives us the definition for continuity. So you can see that this function is continuous. This function is continuous, right? But this function is not continuous. Why? Because the limit does not exist and the value of the function does not is not equal to, I mean, limit does not exist. So that 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 condition is not satisfied. So if there's no limit x, if there's no limit, that means the function is discontinuous. So continuity at a point assume that fx is defined on an open interval containing x equals c, then f is continuous at x equals c if the limit does uh, if the if if limit f of x x goes to c equal fc. So this is the the condition that needs to be satisfied. The limit should exist and that limit should be equal to the value of the function at c. If the limit does not exist or the exist uh, or if it exists but not equal to fc, then we say that f has a discontinuity. If as a discontinuity, uh, if lim, limit x goes to c, fx does not exist, does not exist, or uh, it's not equal to the function value. So f of c should be defined. And limit x goes to c f x f of x exist, and they should be equal for the function f to become continuous. Otherwise, the function f is discontinuous. Okay. Remember, the limit should exist, and the value of the limit should be equal to the value of the function at that point. Okay. Value of the function at that point. Now look at these are very simple two uh, continuous functions. You see that this is uh, uh, y equals k line. You will see that f x equal to k continuous because limit f of x goes to c. That means f limit x goes to c k is equal to k. We learned that, right? And that k is equal to the value of the function here. So we will see that limit x goes to c, k is equal to k, and that k is equal to f of c. See, f of c. That means limit exists, and the function is defined at c, and they both equal. So continuous. And uh, g of x equals x to the power n, where n is is a whole number. Uh, it is is continuous because you can see that uh, from this this law, 
uh, we learn this thing definite uh, loss xc uh, x to the power n is equal to a lot of uh, limit x goes to c x times limit x goes to c x times and goes up to n limit so we have c times c times c goes to c over n c c to the power n so c to the power n and you will see that g of c is equal to you substitute x c of n that means limit x goes to c x to the power n should be equal to g of c so that's a continuous function continuous function okay in this case actually uh, we can see that uh, n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 see um and now we define the continuity and we look at some continuous functions then what are the discontinuous functions what is the discontinuity uh, these two figures shows you uh, some examples of uh, discontinuities you can see that the limit exists here the right hand side limit and the left hand side limit they are almost uh, equal but the function value is not defined is, is not uh, equal to the limit so it's not continuous but you can define function value at this point so it is easy to make that function continuous in that case uh, okay so that's called removable type of uh, discontinuity now in terms of that you can see that um, let's say th 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 this example uh, so i can find limit x goes to 2 g of x equal to limit x goes to 2 uh, x cube minus 8 x 2 and this is limit goes to x cube minus 2 cube x minus 2 is again limit x goes to 2 x minus 2 x squared plus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 uh, <clears throat> and then we have limit x goes to 2 x squared plus 2x plus 4 and you can use the laws of limits uh, to get the limits this is limit x x goes to 2 times limit x goes to 2 x plus 2 times limit x goes to 2 x plus limit x goes to 2 4 so we have this is this is 2 right this is 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2 plus 4. So we have 8, 8, 12, 12, 4, 4, 4, 12. Uh, now we see that the limit exists. Uh, and if you want to find a g of 2, that is 2 cube minus 8 2 minus 2 uh oh it's, it's not defined so the function goes to infinity when it reaches 2 um, g of 2 
but we can this is removal type of discontinuity if we define g of 2 equals 12 then we can make this function continuous and uh, the next type of uh, continuity is called jump discontinuity called jump discontinuity as the word name suggested here is a jump of the function value here there's a jump what happened here is there could be the limits uh, left limit limit x minus f of x exist and uh, limit x plus f of x does not exist okay uh, so the one sided it it, it it does exist and one sided limit in 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 all these cases exist uh, but the point value is not equal to the uh, function value okay uh, but we cannot also define the make make the make the function uh, or remove the discontinuity by just defining the function with this thing we can define uh, one-sided continuity see in this case this function is continuous up to two right and then it's it's called left continuous right left continuous at x equals c here you can see that f x minus c is equal to fc and the right continuous this is uh, x goes to x x goes to plus c f of x it should be equal to fc uh, now none of these functions are right continuous because this is uh, left discontinuous and right discontinuous this is left uh, continuous but right discontinuous this one is left continuous but right discontinuous this is discontinuous in both sides one sided discontinuity uh, one sided continuity i'm sorry and then uh, continuity on an interval what does that mean is that if you have any interval a b and if the function is continuous if the function is continuous uh, throughout this interval right if the function is continuous throughout this interval at any at each and every point that means uh, we can say that f is continuous on uh, i f is continuous on i continuity is defined in in, a, in an interval <clears throat> let's consider this example now this function is a piecewise defined function so they have several intervals here uh, first consider at x equal one we can consider left and uh, left uh, sided uh, left sided uh, discontinuity or left continuity so limit x minus one f of x is equal to now when x, x less than one it is x uh, limit x minus one x right x comes to one so this is equal to one okay but what is uh, f of three f of sorry f of one f of one f of one is equal to from this definition three so left 
it is not left continuous because uh, limit uh, f of x equals one and f of one is equal to three. So this is not left continuous. And uh, <clears throat> from at, at uh, x equal three, I'm gonna write here, at x equal three, right? You can see that uh, both limits exist. So you can see lim limit x goes to three minus. Uh, now, if if it is less than three, it is defined as as uh, three, right? It's three. And then uh, I need to cut this down. So we can find mean x goes to three minus f of x, or you can put. Three, which is equal to three uh, limit x plus three is also equal to three is equal to three and the function value also is equal to zero see f three is equal to three so at three function is continuous a three function is continuous uh, next uh, concept is infinite discontinuity uh, at x equals c if one or both of the one-sided limits are infinite even if fx itself is not defined at x equals c uh, <clears throat> yeah so in this case you can see uh, the function value goes to the infinity as it goes to infinity here negative infinity and goes to positive infinity and then you have, this is also a positive infinity right so limit does not exist so infinite discontinuity that kind of discontinuity is called infinite discontinuity and this is the worst case of discontinuity you can see that the function oscillates it never settles to one value so this is also a kind of uh, discontinuity okay hope you're doing good uh, theorems now I'm going to introduce all the theorems. Theorems are written in, in the book. You can copy them down, but it makes sense only we started working on problems. Now assume that f and g are continuous at x at x equals c, then the following functions are also continued at x equals c. If if f and g are continuous at x equals c, f plus g and f minus g also continued at x equals c and k times f for any constant k is continuous at k x equal c product f of f f times g is continuous at x equals c and quotient f over g if g, g of c is not equal to zero then um, the quotient function is also continuous. Uh, and if p and q, p x and q x to be polynomials, and then p x and q x are continuous, all the polynomials are continuous.
and px over qx if Q, qc is not equal to zero continuous uh, in the domain and uh, continuity of some basic functions y equals x to the power one over n is continuous y equals sine x and cosine x is in are continuous now when you say y equals sine si, cosine x and sine x are continuous then there are a lot of other functions which can be derived from those two functions are also continuous uh, b to the power x is continuous on the real line and y equals logarithmic uh, base b x is continuous for x greater than zero <clears throat> uh, since f of x f of x sine x and f of x cosine x are continuous then you have tangent of x is continuous cotangent of x is continuous uh, secant of x is equal to 1 over cosine x and uh, cosecant is equal to 1 over sine x so whenever sine x cosine x is not defined then tan, tan x goes to the infinity so it's a kind of a piecewise continuous functions for uh, uh, continuous function when cosine uh, if, if tan x, uh, sine x and cosine x are continuous okay we define what the inverse, fun inverse functions are uh, if function uh, uh, f is continuous on the interval i with range r and if f inverse exists then f inverse is also continuous with domain r now since sine x and cosine x are continuous then the inverse functions of those sine inverse x cosine inverse x tangent inverse x and so on they are all continuous in that domain continuity of composite functions if g is continuous at c and f is continuous also at c then the composite function f of x uh, f, f of x is equal to f of g of x is continuous at x so let's say you have two functions f and then you have let's say this is g this is f this is f uh, so let if this function is continuous and this function is continuous and then the combined or composite function is also continuous and uh, inverse is the same uh, this is how we evaluate limits by using the continuity uh, feature uh, we know that if the function is continued at c then limit x goes to c f of x should be equal to f of c okay and let's take a couple of examples let's take this uh, limit y goes to pi over 3 sin y now sin y is a continuous function so you can write sine of pi over 3 because it should be equal to should be equal to sine pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2 and the next one f of x equals uh, 3 of x 3 to power x divided by x plus 5 now we need to find limit x goes to uh, negative 1 3x 3 to the power x divided by square root of x plus 5 now Three to the power x is 
continuous and x square root of x plus 5 is continuous so this is f of x it is continuous this sorry f uh, f1 of x and this is f2 of x that is also continuous so both are continuous function therefore and then f2 x is not equal to 0 right if x is removed x minus x equal to minus 5 is removed and um, and then we can say that f1 over x f2 over x uh, is also continuous right it's also continuous so then we can say that this is a continuous function so we can just substitute One over six. Okay, that's how you do those examples. Okay, let's take a couple of other examples. Couple of other examples. Let's see. Okay, let's take this function limit x goes to this is uh, 2.4 problem 75 minus 1 Now this is a continuous function. This is a polynomial. It's a continuous function, so we can do substitution to minus one cube minus four. So this is uh, negative uh, one two negative six negative six. That's how you do that. So if you do that, and then take uh, any function, so you should be able to do most of these. Uh, cases in this assignment so for example again you have a limit uh, tangent 3x x goes to pi over 4 so this is a continuous function uh, unless uh, at uh, pi over sorry, 0 uh, pi and, and multiples of pi uh, that's where the tangent function uh, tan x is sorry multiples of pi over 2 tan x is uh, not defined right where cos cosine x is uh but here it is continuous in that point so there more 10 3 times pi over 4 tangent 3 times pi over 4 okay 
uh, so that's equal to negative one and like that you have uh, a lot of other questions uh, and you have piecewise functions uh, so in this lesson we covered what uh, continuity and uh, this definition types of uh, discontinuities one-sided con continuity and you have uh, Theorems, theorems uh, and how to build continuous functions, theorems, and then uh, evaluating limits. Using continuity. That's it for this lesson. Uh, I'll see you in another lecture.